Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? So let me go down this particular route here. You should never, if you are serving God, it is quite foolish to marry a person that is not serving God. If you serve God and the person that you are marrying is not serving God, how do you believe that things are going to work? Think about that. What you are for, your future spouse is against. What your spouse is against, you are not for. How do you believe that it is going to work? What God is about the world is against what the world is hmm what the world is against per se god is for righteousness so how do you believe that things are going to work this is going to save you so much pain and heartache and frustration if your spouse or your future spouse, the person that you plan on marrying, is in sin, why would you expect that person to be a moral person? Why would you expect that person to stay faithful to you? Why do you expect that person to follow the rules and regulations of God when that person is a sinner, an unbeliever? Why would you put yourself in a situation like that when you know that person is in sin? Well, Kevin, that person is really cute, so I believe we are going to make cute babies. This is why I am marrying this person. What? Well, Kevin, I have been single for a while, and I have not been having sex, so I have to hurry up and marry because I want to have sex. What? Think about what you have said. You still have to use wisdom when you make choices that are this large. So if you continue to get hurt, boyfriend after boyfriend, girlfriend after girlfriend, well, something has to tell you, hey, let me choose a guy or a woman that serves God, that actually, actually, actually serves God. Not one that says, hey, I go to church every Sunday. No, find one that actually serves God. Why would you, it makes no sense. Why would you meet a person at the club? <laughs> Hey, I want to marry you, and you better be a godly man or woman. <laughs> foolishness. I believe we do a lot of foolishness that hurt ourselves. You expect a sinful person to be moral. How crazy is that? If you are in sin... In many ways, your morals, your perception is off. If what you are believing in and how you're living is not lined up 
with the rules and regulations of God, your perception and your life is off. So don't marry sinners. Don't. I don't care how rich they are. I don't care how pretty they are. If you want to marry people for foolish reasons, you are going to have a foolish marriage. <laughs> Let me stop here. God bless you.